Is Amazon overvalued or is it time to own it? Guys, my name is Hamilton. I'm here at the Trading Initiative. And over the next five minutes, we're going to talk about whether or not it's time to own Amazon from a technical standpoint. First things first, this is obviously one of the most important stocks in the market. It's a MAG7 stock, but more importantly, it is the most important retail stock in the entire world. Amazon currently sitting at a $1.94 trillion market cap. This stock matters okay so whether or not you want to own it or not if amazon is not doing well the benchmark the broader market is probably going to suffer a little bit as well obviously we think that amazon and the benchmark s p 500 are going to be moving in the same direction very very shortly here so i'm going to give you a little hint yes we think it's time to own amazon and before you exit the video because you are for sure that the market is about to fall let me show you why first things first amazon Pressing up into those 2020, 2021 highs has not really participated over the last two years of this bull market. Some other obvious MAG7 stocks that have Microsoft breaking up and over those 2021 highs and into all-time highs. Meta breaking out and pressing in towards all-time highs. Apple breaking out and pressing into all-time highs. These are all names that we've owned. Amazon has yet to join the party still finding resistance up there at the 190 level, the same place that it's found resistance multiple times in the past. So inside of TTI, we have this core saying, right? The more oftentimes a resistance line is tested, the weaker it inherently becomes. Buyers are coming up, or the buyers are coming up there and they're chipping away at those sellers and eventually sellers are not gonna be present anymore and the buyers are gonna flip this level that was resistance for multiple years into support. That is basic technical analysis, support and resistance theory, right? Everybody understands that. Okay, so let me, Kind of build this bull case here beyond the very obvious of we're pressing up into overhead resistance, right? So Amazon is the largest stock within the consumer discretionary space. And consumer discretionary obviously are a bunch of the retail names. Uh, think of stocks that you have a bunch of money, you're in a bull market, where are you going to go and spend all that money, right? You're going to spend it on things like new cars, new clothes, uh, Amazon, Tesla, Ford, General Motors, Abercrombie & Fitch, one of the bigger names this year, right? All of the discretionary spending we can kind of identify within this chart. This is the consumer discretionary sector. As you can see, this is one of the few areas of the market that has actually yet to come back and retest those 2021 highs. As a matter of fact, you have consumer staples. You have things like Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Walmart already breaking out. You have utilities that just broke out on Friday. So some of just the slowest moving and more defensively based stocks in the market hitting all-time highs. And yet for whatever reason, the market has not brought consumer discretionary up. And so we think over the next few weeks or months, considering it's September into year end, we think consumer discretionary has a great opportunity to play catch up in the market into the end of Q4. We think that consumer discretionary has every opportunity to get up and over this 2021 high, very minimum, or retesting those high at $212.50. That should translate into a very bullish thrust in Amazon. And if we actually look at some relative strength, consumer discretionary against the broader market, we do see a potential little bit of rounding out happening here. This key level, we get up and over it, potentially up and over that 200-day moving average. There's some relative strength here against consumer discretionary to go along with that absolute strength as consumer discretionary in particular breaks out into two-year highs. I like it. I think there's going to be a really good opportunity for the entire sector to really make a push here into the end of 2024. And obviously, Amazon is going to be one of the main stocks that are should benefit from that, right? We're already pressing up into that 190 area. We're trading north of an upward sloping 200-day moving average. We're north of the 50 RSI showing us that there's more bullish momentum than bearish momentum. And obviously, in towards all-time high, we have no overhead supply that we need to worry about. But let me take one other approach here. Amazon is, you know, without a doubt, the most important retail name in the market. You can't argue that. It is. But what happens if we looked outside of the United States? Amazon's obviously a big player outside of the United States as well, but there is an equivalent stock, particularly in LATAM. Some of you guys are probably already shouting it out. It's Mercado Libre, right? So Mercado Libre plays a very essential role in Latin America. They are basically the Amazon. It's this weird Amazon eBay kind of morph. Uh, company. I live in Brazil, so my wife uses Mercado Libre all the time. I still use Amazon down here in Brazil, but arguably it's just not as good. But what we're seeing here from the LATAM Amazon is an all-time high breakout. And this is exactly what I expect Amazon to actually do. So Mercado Libre taking its sweet time to get back up to those 2021 highs. But once it got up there, it consolidated and then broke out into all-time highs. Once again, trading north of an upward slope 200-day moving average, 
50 RSI and above into big blue skies with no overhead supplies. I think Amazon is going to follow the path of Mercado Libre. I don't think it's an if, it's a win because the implications of Amazon not breaking out into all-time highs is probably there's a market top forming and there's a bear market coming and I just don't see it in the data. There's so many bullish underlying thesis out there even with Fed interest rate cuts coming on Wednesday that I don't see Amazon rolling over I don't think this is a double or a triple top. How dare people call this a triple top? How dare they? I don't think it is. I think this is a consolidation range underneath overhead supply, and eventually it's going to flip and make a run at that 1.618 Fib extension around 240, 250, 260. That's what we're playing, and we are starting to take initial positions within Amazon. You can see that trade over there on the market research portal if you're interested. It just, the link is in the description below. Feel free to check us out. If you want to take the same trades as us, we have a pretty good track record this year. If you free to check us out. But that's what I think about Amazon. Is it overvalued? Is it undervalued? I think it's undervalued. I think we're going to break out into all-time highs with Amazon before the end of the year and make a run for that 250. And I also think consumer discretionary is going to be one of the leading sectors over the next few months into the end of 2024. Call me crazy, but I think the writing is on the wall. My name is Hamilton. I'm here at the Trading Initiative. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the description. If you're buying Amazon, let me know in the comments. No, don't, don't, don't let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments, all right? Catch you next video.